Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday I released a video showing off some pre-release test results for Philip, and by far the biggest piece of feedback that I got from you guys is why didn't you run him as primary? Okay. And some of you also suggested that I should run him with Ashurbanipal. So today we're going to do both of those things in this video. And we're also going to run him with Ragnar prime. So we can see if it makes more sense to run Philip as a primary or as a secondary here in rise of kingdoms. But first what's going on guys. Cheers. Okay. Now the first thing that I want to touch on here is why I didn't test Philip with Asher Bonapal. A few of you mentioned in the comments that that seems to be like a pair that has a lot of synergy. And in the video, I said I something along the lines of that pairing doesn't make any sense. And I was completely wrong straight up. I was wrong. And here's why I personally do not run Asher Bonapal in the open field. I run two cav marches, two infantry marches and one archer march. And so I don't use Asher Bonapal personally. And I just straight up forgot that the expertise is triggered off of active skill activations okay as big as my brain is sometimes it is not easy to remember the skills of 100 plus commanders in rise of kingdom so I, I i know what his skill does i just forgot that it's it's random based on the active skill activations and not off of something else like you know chance on normal attack or something like that so yes there is synergy here with ashurbanipal and phil because phil's expertise here his virginia actually gives him the ability to cast active skills a second time and so pairing that with ashurbanipal can give him extra procs of this randomized buff here on the expertise which does in fact have some synergy okay so that is the first thing we're going to talk about here we're going to test him with ashurbanipal today because i just completely forgot about this expertise and then the second thing i want to mention here is why do people want to use philip as primary right if you take a look at his talent trees they're actually quite garbage there's really nothing to like here unless you're going to run Phil with three different troop types. So for me, I thought it was pretty intuitive that surely you're not going to run Philip as primary unless maybe you run him with Trajan or Merlan or some other mixed army because the leadership tree is super bad. So is the versatility tree. And so that really only leaves you with the support tree. And as you guys know, you only need two points in rejuvenate for the support tree. So like you really don't even go all the way to the end of the support tree typically. So you're just going to have like a ton of points that you're putting into the leadership tree, which isn't going to be as effective as running a single troop type commander as the primary right a commander like ashurbanipal has the archer tree or like huo has the cavalry tree or in my most recent video i use shajar as an example right so his talent trees are not good for being a primary commander but the reason people want me to test him as a primary is because of his active skill it says for the next two seconds up to five nearby allied or friendly troops take 10 percent less damage and deal 20 percent more damage but the effects of this skill are multiplied by two for this commander's troop which means 40 percent more additional damage for two seconds and that means that the secondary commander can deal their active skill whatever that damage is it's going to be increased by 40 percent okay so now that we know why players wanted me to test him with ashurbanipal and why players wanted me to test him as primary let's jump right into the test results here and what you're looking at above me is actually our baseline phil is not in this five army lineup this is ashurbanipal with ysg and what you'll notice uh, throughout this entire video is that all of these five army lineups will be dealing more damage and taking less damage from the pilferer compared to yesterday's video and the reason for that is because in that video I actually had accidentally increased the stats of the pilferer so he was actually stronger in yesterday's video and since I took the screenshots for that video many days ago I don't actually remember what I exactly set his stats to and I don't want to do any guesswork here and try to like compare apples to oranges so what we're using is a new baseline unfortunately we can't compare this to yesterday's video but everything in yesterday's video used the exact same testing parameters so everything in yesterday's video is apples to apples this video will be using the basically default pilferer in the rock battle simulator because i don't want to just guess what i set his stats to because i literally don't remember and then try to like convince you guys that it's apples to apples and like estimate and stuff like that. that's that's not what we're doing here okay so this is our new baseline okay we ran the same five army lineup as we did in yesterday's video that five army lineup being of course ashurbanipal with ysg as you can see right here also juge leong with herman nevsky with joan ragnar with cpo prime and liu che with alexander the great okay all of those armies will remain exactly the same throughout this entire video except for the ashurbanipal ysg we're going to be swapping that out for different armies so we can test different things okay so our baseline shows that we dealt 32 million nine hundred and ninety three thousand damage on average over the course of 360 turns or six minutes exactly and our armies took a total of 392,000 damage with a ratio of 84.02 damage dealt 
per damage taken okay so that's our baseline what we're going to do next is replace YSG with Phil as the secondary for Ashurbanipal okay and what we're going to see here is that on average we deal 31 million 798 thousand damage and we take 374 thousand damage in return for a ratio of 84.93 damage dealt per damage taken okay so if we compare that to the Ashurbanipal YSG you will see that the ratio is actually better for the Ashurbanipal Philip okay so pretty good stuff here that is an improvement of about 1.06 percent okay I'm gonna hide that so we're not looking at Ashurbanipal's legs all video but what we can discover here is that benching the YSG for Phil is about a one percent increase in your damage trade is that worth 690 legendary commander sculptures I would say probably not probably not that's my opinion I don't know you guys can let me know that's also within the realm of possible just RNG factor right like if we ran these tests for longer or we ran more of them maybe we will find that the difference is lower or higher but on average we're looking at a one percent improvement with that being said what happens if we use Phil as the primary well let's go ahead and take a look this is Philip primary with Ashurbanipal secondary and this is with full leadership gear okay we're gonna do archer gear in just a second so don't worry but this is with full leadership gear we have on average 31 million eight hundred and seventy three thousand damage dealt with 382,000 damage taken for a ratio of 83.42 damage dealt per damage taken. Okay. So what we can learn from this is running Philip primary with Ashurbanipal secondary with leadership gear is about 0.72% worse than simply running Ashurbanipal YSG. And if we compare this to our Ashurbanipal as primary, it is actually 1.81% worse to run Philip as the primary instead. Okay. Now, again, these numbers are micro optimizations at best. These are very similar numbers here. It is, I mean, really what you're doing is dealing less damage, but taking less damage in return. So that it kind of is what it is. That's probably chalked up to the difference between the skill tree versus the support tree, something like that. But that's the difference here. And really you could see that running Ashurbanipal as primary, no matter who is secondary is probably going to be better than running Phil as the primary. However, what we have to look at next is what happens if you run Phil primary with Ashurbanipal secondary secondary with archer gear okay now the downside here is that if you do run full archer gear you would have to talent it for leadership commanders if you wanted to go that route um so su super weird strategy to go with there and i don't imagine anybody has done that before but if we take a look at the results of phil primary ashurbanipal secondary with full archer gear no talents okay just the plain old legendary archer set it's the two kvk pieces with the two dragon's breath pieces and the leadership legs and gloves you'll see that the total damage dealt was 31 million nine hundred and eighty eight thousand and the total damage taken was three hundred and seventy eight thousand okay the ratio is 84.44 which means Phil primary Ashurbanipal secondary compared to Ashurbanipal YSG if you use all archer gear is half a percent improvement okay it is half a percent better to do Phil primary Ashurbanipal secondary with full legendary archer gear and again that is like well within the range of complete RNG micro optimization and if we compare it to running Ashurbanipal as primary with Phil secondary also obviously with archer gear then you'll see that it's actually about half a percent worse okay so again this is within the realm of complete RNG uh you know this you'd have to run these like thousands of times to really see if there's a big difference here but it seems like it's not that big of a deal so of the four different Ashurbanipal armies that we tested the best performing one was the Ashurbanipal primary with Phil secondary and it beats out second place by about one percent second place being Ashurbanipal primary with YSG secondary third place being Phil primary Ashurbanipal secondary with full archer gear and fourth place being Phil primary Ashurbanipal secondary with full leadership gear what you can deduce from that is that if you have full leadership gear and it's special talented then that's probably going to perform a little bit better than the Phil Osher with 
archer gear um and that means it will probably perform around the same as this uh so or maybe a little bit better even i didn't i didn't run that test but the point is for all of this that these are all micro optimizations next what i did was test ragnar with phil because this was another you know commander pairing that people said i should probably test here so we did ragnar primary first we will do phil first okay that's the whole point of this video um, but what we can see here is that the average total damage dealt was 29 million nine hundred three thousand with the total damage taken being 378 379,000 okay we'll call it that the ratio being 78.9 damage dealt per damage taken so what we can see here right away is that the Ashurbanipal play is better uh, Ashurbanipal seems like a better pair with Ragnar at least off of this first data point next we can take a look at what happens if we run fill primary with Ragnar secondary with full leadership gear you could see the total damage dealt is 28 million 59,000 the total damage taken was 374,800 with a ratio of 74.85 damage dealt per damage taken and as you can tell here by the uh red we, we have a slight decrease in 5.41 percent now this test was there's obviously an outlier here right this one is I mean this is definitely different from the rest I've gone back looked at the numbers um they all look I mean that's those are the numbers so we've got to have some crazy RNG here but even if we completely delete that it's 4.65 right so like that outlier wasn't pulling it down so much that it is a complete game changer so even still uh we know that the leadership gear on Phil Ragnar is underperforming the Ragnar Phil so next up we have Phil Ragnar again except this time with infantry gear and again this is not with any special talents because if you wanted to talent this you would have to talent the infantry gear with leadership talents which maybe some people have done in the past but um just for being fair I didn't do that here and as you can see the total damage dealt is 30 million 243,000 total damage taken on average was 384,000 with a ratio of 78.64 damage dealt per damage taken okay so what we can learn here is that it's about 0.33 percent worse versus just running Ragnar primary Phillips secondary and so again this is another like mega micro optimization okay so what can we learn from all this okay what can we learn from all this well first of all I was wrong about the Ashurbanipal thing for sure there is definitely synergy with Ashurbanipal and Phil uh the question is though is it so much better that you would bench YSG I don't think so I mean if you're like I don't know what Paris archers are using if you're running a three archer lineup right now I'm assuming is Yugi Leung with Herman Prime Ashurbanipal with Nebu and then Shajar with YSG that's my assumption um but you guys can let me know in the comment section below if you're one of those uh Kraken archers but if you're only running two archer marches and you're running Ashurbanipal with YSG already then I don't know if it's necessarily worth it right um I guess you could make the argument that you could then for three armies you could do Yugi Leong with Herman Prime you could do Ashurbanipal with Phil and then you could do Shajar with YSG or Shajar with Nebu maybe if you wanted the extra March speed I'm not really sure but uh maybe there's something there maybe Archer mains can figure out if you know Phil fits into their three army lineup but I don't think he will fit in a two army lineup which pretty much goes exactly with what I said in yesterday's video in that Phil is going to probably be a nice addition maybe to a seven army lineup I suggested with Trajan but maybe this the secret sauce is that he's with Ashurbanipal or something along those lines okay the other thing that we can learn here is that um you probably wouldn't run him with Ragnar Prime Ragnar Prime has a great pairing in CPO um the only thing that I could think of would be maybe you would do the Ragnar fill with and then you would still run Guan CPO as your third infantry army possibly but I don't imagine people doing that either and again you would only do that if you're running three infantry armies which again means that you would only be using this if you're a seven army whale player okay so now let's address the elephant in the room and that being why was I right after all ladies and gentlemen no I'm okay I'm I'm partially kidding here um my gut was telling me on first impression that Phil was probably not going to be a primary commander and let me just be abundantly clear okay we have to see real world in game testing I've made this clear in every video that I do with the simulator every single time I always say this and people always get mad at me it's like 
brother i'm telling i'm telling you exactly what you already think you you actually agree with me you just are mad for some reason and i don't know why but let's go over why i don't think phil is necessarily going to be used as a primary commander in the case of being paired with ashurbanipal or maybe with ragnar or some other pairing maybe shajar somebody else okay first we have to look at why do people want to do this anyway okay and that is for the timing of the active skill that seems to be the primary thing people are focusing on they're like we want 40 percent more damage for the active skill of whoever is behind philip and that's fair but let me remind you his talent trees are absolutely garbage for being a primary commander of a single troop type okay leadership tree is not meant for that it is not good at that and we'll go over that in just a second but while it might be the case that philip giving 40 percent more all damage to your secondary seems really good let me remind you guys that we already have julius caesar in the game who is also a leadership commander who not only gives your secondary 30 percent more all damage but his relic also gives him another 20 percent all damage okay for a total of 50 percent all damage for whoever your secondary commander is and people still even with a 50 percent bonus to all damage they still don't run caesar as primary now that there's for a lot of different reasons right we can't really compare caesar to philip okay he's got the attack tree for one the rest of his kit is a bit weak but fundamentally if massive amounts of all damage was such a game breaker for that timing piece there then people would try really hard to make caesar work and i've tried in the past i've made videos about this running like you know huo with caesar to try and like time the active skills or something like that like it doesn't move the needle enough and maybe that's because the rest of caesar's kit is trash but my point is part of the reason for it is because the leadership tree sucks and realistically we would have to get ethel fled here because she also has the same sort of talent trees that philip is going to have that being leadership and support and there's just not a great combination here for running philip as the primary if again if you're running one troop type okay because first of all everyone knows you don't need all three points in rejuvenate but what else are you going to do with that last point okay you come up here you grab emergency protection and by the way you're grabbing elixir on the way which is going to be useless and then you come up here to the the leadership tree and look you get extra troops that's great here you get one and a half percent more normal damage here you get extra rage when hit that's pretty good but then you get more healing you're not doing healing okay so that's not great maybe you could make the you make the argument for shajar here okay possibly maybe and then you look at strategic power prowess this is the best talent in the tree right now and then you come up here to close formation this isn't good you don't want to be fighting under 50 percent units remaining and name of the king is for rallies and the points off on the left and right here are for mixed armies which you're not doing and so you're left with like a very suboptimal uh, talent build here again unless maybe you're going to do shajar but in that case like think about what you're leaving on the table for shajar like the archer tree is good right the archer tree is great and so you know at the end of the day like you're getting a suboptimal talent build on top of the fact that every single point here every single one of these smaller points is 50% value compared to whatever the, the the dedicated talent tree is for that commander right whether it's archers calves whatever infantry so like the the real a real problem with Philip is that his talent trees are trash and when it really comes down to it when we look at you know Ashurbanipal as secondary to Phil for example you might think well okay well Phil doesn't have just all damage on the active skill but also on his third skill here 30 percent all damage as well so really it's 70 percent all damage but great news guys when you pair Ashurbanipal with YSG you're already getting 50 percent extra skill damage and 12 percent extra skill damage from the museum as well so a total of 62 percent extra skill damage and great news that's pretty much all that the expert that's all that the active skill is on Ashurbanipal anyway so if you were running Ashurbanipal with YSG you already had a 62 percent increase in damage for this skill so the 70 percent all damage from Phil doesn't really seem like all that much now when you compare it to the 62 percent that you're already getting and I know it's not it's not all damage but like it's 62 percent more damage for the active skill which is what people really care about okay so now again that's not to discredit Phil at all because again Ashurbanipal Phil did slightly outperform the Ashurbanipal YSG but the point of this video is that I just don't see a world where you run Phil as primary again maybe it's with Shajar but I've literally already done so many hours of testing here and I feel like what we're doing is beating a dead horse what we're trying to figure out is which third army are you going to put Phil in right are you going to put him in your third archer march you're going to put him in your third infantry march are you going to put him in your third cavalry march are you going to put him in a dedicated march with Trajan those are the questions that we're really trying to answer at this point okay yes if you if you wanted to do the Asher Phil for a slight improvement go for it but that's a really expensive uh investment 
adjustment in my opinion a one percent increase in damage ratio doesn't really seem worth it to me okay so at the end of the day and fundamentally what we've learned is that just like i said in yesterday's video phil looks like he will be a sixth or seventh army lineup commander you can maybe make the argument of using this primary if you want to but based on what we've seen in this video and based on the early pre-release results which that's all that this is it's early pre-release results we don't have them in game yet it seems like the downsides of running Phil as primary for a single troop type seem to outweigh the benefits that we might hypothetically get now the last thing that I want to point out here is that you know this is actually respectable damage and ratio for a commander that is supposed to be a support commander right like let's not forget that Phil is a support commander he is not a dps commander and so this is actually pretty respectable here and this also doesn't take into account the different types of aoe right we have AOE, a little bit of aoe on phillips kit but you also have aoe on commanders like ysg that is gonna just way outperform the aoe on phil as well right also also you have to remember that these tests are run in a perfect scenario right this is the perfect timing of using if Phil is primary, then he's going to give that 20% all damage to the other four armies at basically the perfect time almost every single time right and that's not going to be the case in real world fighting so it it might perform better it might perform worse in the real world i suspect it will be off timing more often than it will be on timing because it's only a two second buff for your allies right so i mean look at the end of the day uh i think is phil a great micro optimization for a seven army lineup yes that's the same conclusion that i came to yesterday is phil going to be used as primary maybe but it seems like from early release data it doesn't seem like that is necessarily like the best play in fact the data shows otherwise so we'll have to wait and see how he actually performs in game and i say this all the time but i'll say it again uh, people that don't like a lot of people i don't think understand the point of the battle simulator right they they think that because it doesn't occur in on the in-game map they think that it's it's useless data um but in reality the battle simulator has historically been extremely accurate with how good these commanders actually are the only exceptions were maybe um, pyrus because i kind of inflated his performance for that video to make him look really cool in the video and truthfully i do think he's actually a really good commander but he's just he, he's not going to be able to hang with the sock players and also that was my first ever um time really using the battle simulator and uh secondly was herman prime who historically didn't perform super well in 1v1s but i did say that he would probably be meta because because of his poison stacks alone right which is not which is like almost intangible thing because back then we only had uh, 1v1 testing so um, over the years the battle simulator has gotten better and better and better and people that are still discounting the data from the battle simulator are just they're kind of just shooting themselves in the foot really because you have a great tool to test amazing things here in the game and to just blindly turn an eye to it and pretend like it's not accurate is just I mean it's just wrong so and and look like like these are pre-release results so like are there little nuances about the kit that maybe we don't know how they understand sure right but this is implemented as best as we know and honestly Phil's kit is really not that complicated like compared to recent commanders it's pretty straightforward so anyway my final thoughts are that um Phil as primary is um uh, maybe um we'll have to see real world testing but you know we just the Trajan has really only been the the one leadership commander that we've used as primary that has had any sort of staying power and so the odds seem to be stacked against Phil here based on early results from the simulator plus also what we know about the game game logic game knowledge past performances okay which as you guys know past performance does not guarantee future results but it does typically you know lend us a pattern at least right so Phil primary maybe but it seems like to me probably not right you, you probably have better things to do than spend 690 legendary commander sculptures on a micro optimization but if you do have those kind of heads then you're probably a seven march player which was again my original recommendation in yesterday's video so i'm standing by it i'm not super convinced people are going to use phil in a five army lineup six might be a stretch seven possibly guaranteed it, it depends on if you already run a uh, ranged march and if you like a ranged march or not anyway with all that being said guys if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and while you're down there leave a comment let me know what you think about phil are you surprised by the results that we're looking at today with him as primary or a secondary let me know and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace